are Belle, Lumiere, and Duffy. One morning, Belle looked out of the window and sighed. It had been raining for over a week. I was hoping today would be the day the sunshine came back. She explained to Lumiere. Lumiere sadly took Belle to the peace study. He won't live through, Lumiere said anxiously. He says he's too sad to face another raining day. Belle tried to cheer up the beast, but she couldn't even make him smile. It's part of the curse that Enchantress put on me. The beast rock, the longer it rains, the sadder I feel. There must be a way to bring the sunshine back to the castle, suggested Belle. I'm going to the library to find some books about the weather. Belle and Lumiere found lots of books about rain, but none of them said how to make it go away. Belle was just about to give up when she noticed a book with no title. Belle took the book off the shelf. How odd, she puzzled. All the pages are blank. But when she went to put the book back, a secret doorway had opened up in front of her. Belle stepped through the doorway and saw a long flight of steps leading down to a hidden cave. Come on, Lumiere, I need your light to guide me, she said. They soon came to a cavern. Inside the cavern was an island surrounded by a pool of pink water. In the center of the island stood a gold dressing table. How do we reach the island? asked Dao. Suddenly, the pages in Dao's book fluttered. Belle opened the book and saw that the first chapter had appeared. Look, exclaimed Lumiere. There's a riddle. Belle read out the mysterious riddle. You've started the story and got this far. To read the next chapter by where the hearts are. I can see any hearts, Blaster Lumiere. Belle looked at the pink pool and smiled. Just under the storm face, there was a heart-shaped stepping stone. They hop over the stones and reach the dressing table. Suddenly, two tiaras, thrown in glass cases, appeared on the table. Then, the pages in the book began to flutter again. Another chapter, the riddle has appeared, said Belle. Before reading it out, one of the magic tiaras will chase the clouds away. But if you pick the wrong one, the rain will always stay. One of the tiaras was covered in rubies, sapphire and diamonds. The other one was very simple with a single stone. But if I pick the wrong one, the bees will be sad forever, gasped Bob. I think you should choose the tiara with the most jewels, suggested Lumiere, because it already sparkles and glitters as brightly as the sun. On the other hand, if 
that Yara is already dusting. It won't need the good sun to look good. Said Dao, she took the simple tiara and put it on her head, but nothing happened. Belle rushed back to the library and looked out of the window. It was still raining. Oh no, cried Belle. No, the sunshine will not return and the bees will never be happy again. But when the bee saw how pretty Belle looked wearing the tiara, he thought, you look perfect. He said. Suddenly, a shock of sunlight broke through the clouds and lit up the castle. The first is broken bell locked the bees. You brought the sunshine box. Ha ha ha. The more he locked, the clearer the sky became. As bell and the bees rushed out into the warm sunlight. The last page of the book filled up with words. A clear sky and lots of laughter means that this sunshine story and then happy ever after.